Hi everyone and welcome to Bodyworks Prime. Today we're going to be going over the origin, the insertion and the action of the coracobrachialis muscle. So you can see right here the coracobrachialis muscle and it gets its name because it originates here on the coracoid process of the scapula where it's partially blended with the short head of the bicep tendon, um, which also connects onto the same area there. So we can see here I've highlighted the origin in red on the coracoid process of the scapula. And you can also see the insertion here in blue and it inserts on the medial surface of the humerus. The insertion sits between the brachial muscle and the medial head of the triceps. So you can see here another view of the coracobrachialis muscle and we can see here it's just behind the short head of the biceps brachii. So you can see the coracobrachialis just behind that and both of them are going to come up here to the coracoid process of the scapula and the tendon is going to partially blend together and that's the origin of uh, both of those just right here on the coracoid process. So we're back again with the skeleton model and we can see the coracoid process of the scapula right here and on the end of it we've got the origin of the coracobrachialis. Now you can see on the humerus here, some medial aspect of it, we've got the insertion of the coracobrachialis muscle and right next to it, you see in red, that's the origin of the brachialis muscle you can see the coracobrachialis muscle is in, more or less in line with the with the top of the um, the origin of the brachialis. So, if you remember these two things, the name is going to tell you the origin and the insertion. So, coraco coracoid process brachialis in line with the origin of the brachialis. So, coracobrachialis. You meant that the origin insertion is in the name, essentially. So let's go over the actions of the coracobrachialis. So if you imagine it's connecting these two points and it's squeezing, what's it gonna do? It's gonna flex the shoulder like that. So we got flexion, flexion of the shoulder as one of the actions. Now, another thing to bear in mind is if the humerus is abducted like that, imagine squeezing like that, what's it going to do? It's going to cause some abduction of the humerus as well. Now, that's not a primary function of the coracobrachialis muscle. It's just going to be something which it assists in. Um, the main function of it is going to be flexion of the shoulder, but it's also an assister in adduction as well. So that about covers it then. Um, if you enjoyed the video, you liked it, you know which buttons to press, and I'll see you all next time.